This, my lady, is a promenade. Hi everyone, it's Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. This is the new Phil and Ted's Promenade. Now we're used to seeing a lot of sporty strollers from Phil and Ted. This one is all about class. This is the newest modular stroller to hit the market. Um, and it is a modular stroller that's really going to grow with your family. Now in order to keep this review, you know, to a decent length, I'm going to try to focus on those standout features and kind of briefly do the other features. So let's take a look at the seat. The seat accommodates up to 40 pounds. It is 12 inches wide with a 19 inch seat back and a measurement of 22 inches from the back of the seat all the way to the top of the canopy. Now it sounds like a short canopy measurement, but you can always slide the canopy up the frame to give the child more headroom if you wanted to. Just kind of a um, nice point there. Just slide that right up. Now it has a baby bumper bar. The bumper bar is a swing away, easy to do. All you gotta do is pull it open, swings away. You could also remove it completely. There's a five point adjustable harness and I love the Phil and Ted's buckle because it's hard to do. You have to push the two red buttons while squeezing. So easy for mom, hard for the toddlers to do. Now there's a couple things that's interesting and totally unique about the seat. First of all, it has an adjustable footrest. Now, you wouldn't think that's a big deal, but when I show you how it turns into a bassinet later, you're going to love the fact that it has adjustable footrest. Now, it has three reclined positions, and it's one-handed. All you have to do is pull that button up, halfway back, and then all the way reclined. Now, if you want to use it with a newborn, and you don't want to just put them in the seat, this turns into a bassinet, and it's so easy to do. There are two clips underneath the bottom. One and two on the back. All you gotta do is unclip those and you have now a pram. Your seat has instantly transformed into a bassinet. You still have your fabulous canopy, you still have a five point harness, um, and it's great for a small baby. Here is our nine week old in the seat in the bassinet and she fits perfectly happy as a clam. When you're transporting your baby in the bassinet, you're probably going to want your baby to face you, so the promenade can do that. And it's a little bit different. Let me show you how. Just take off the seat. You rotate those two buttons, lift up. Now, you're not going to use those same adapters. They give you two additional adap adapters that you're going to use when the baby faces you. They label them right and left, which is good. <laughs> Just snap them right on, like that, and like that. And then you just reverse the seat, put them into the adapters, and that's going to give you the pram facing you. And what I like is that those adapters are higher up, so the baby's going to be closer to you. Plus, turning it back into a toddler seat facing mom, no problem. All you have to do is buckle those same buckles that you undid to make it a bassinet. One buckle, I mean literally, it's so easy. Two buckles and you are done. Find the other one over here into a toddler seat. One-handed recline, put it up, and the baby's going to face you. Plus, like I said, it has that adjustable footrest, which is unique for a seat that transforms into a bassinet. So they've really done a lot with this seat. Um, you can face it towards mom, and if you want to face this toddler seat back to the world, you'll just put it on those bottom adapters. The canopy on the promenade, while it doesn't look big this way, it does unzip and it makes it huge. As you can see, just undo the zipper. This is a huge mesh window, so it's going to allow air to circulate through, but it's still shaded, so it's not going to have the sun in their eyes. It's going to give them full shade. There's a peekaboo window back here, so if the baby's facing out, I can still see in at them. A very, very nice canopy. Now the handlebar. The handlebar is different. Let me tell you, instead of coming out and up, you know how for taller parents, it comes out at you. And they do that so there's no way for you to kick the frame of the stroller. This is the first position. Now it goes all the way in, but I'm not going to really push it that way. But it does go all the way in, comes halfway out, and then keeps extending. This is for when it's in doubles mode. I'm telling you, there is not a chance you're going to kick the frame of the stroller with this handlebar. Now the wheels on here, they're foam tires, so you're not going to have to worry about a flat with these. They also have the guard for when it is in doubles mode to keep the child from playing with the wheel. The basket is ginormous, and it needs to be because when it's in doubles mode, that's where that second seat's going to go. But when it's in singles mode, you have plenty of room for a very large diaper bag. There's a 
a mesh pocket up here for some loose essentials if you don't want them to roll around, but it has a lot of basket space. And when it is in doubles mode, there's still a little bit of space left over for your things. Now remember I told you the Phil and Ted's Promenade is a modular stroller that grows for your child. They give you the option of getting the doubles kit. That's going to turn it into a double when you have two children. And it's really easy to do and it's super unique, let me tell you. So you put it right into the spot where it goes and that's going to give you two toddler seats. And what's great about it is this rear toddler seat has a one-handed recline into three positions so you could lay it flat if you wanted. Um, also, what's great about the second seat, it also turns into a bassinet. Two straps, just like before. All you gotta do is undo them, and that's gonna turn into a bassinet. So you're gonna be able to put your baby down here if you would like, um, and um, they're still gonna be comfortable out of the way, but your older toddler's gonna be able to see out at the world. Now when you have it in doubles mode, you're never gonna leave the handle down like that, because how are you gonna push it? Now you want to extend the handlebar, and what's great is this is the normal extension. They've given you even a few more inches for when it's in doubles mode. And why? Because they do not want you kicking or hitting that bottom seat, and you don't. This extends so far, even tall parents are going to be able to push this without having any contact with the bassinet or seat at the bottom, even fully reclined. So I absolutely love this long handle on it. Now, if you have twins, the promenade is so great for that as well. Because the seats transform from bassinet to toddler seat, you can turn them both into bassinet. Really easy to do. And I'm going to have two bassinets pretty much on top of each other. A great way to transport twins. Um, like I said, you can do two toddler seats, two bassinets, one of each. So it's really a really versatile stroller. The stroller has a weight capacity of 40 pounds per seat, which is great because you could put your bigger kid in the back if you wanted. Um, this rear seat does have to be uh, removed to fold, but it's so easy to do. You just flip two levers down here and it pops right out, so it's really, really easy. Folding the promenade is very easy just to make sure the doubles kit is removed. Just put down the handlebar, lift up, push down these two pieces, lift up with your fingers. It's gonna and it folds down flat. Now the single, it weighs in at 28 pounds. When you add the devil's kit, it goes up to 35 pounds. So it's not the lightest on the market, but not too bad as well. Um, now look, it's pretty manageable. It's a pretty compact fold. You could pop off this bumper bar if you wanted it flatter. You could take off all the wheels if you needed it even more compact. But I see no problem with this fitting and even a sedan trunk. Now it has an automatic lock. I'm going to go ahead and put the bumper bar back on. All you got to do is lift it open to unlock it and then pull up on the handlebar until it locks into place and you're good to go. Just adjust your handlebar out so it pushes and you, it's very easy to do. Overall, I am really impressed with the Phil and Ted's Promenade. I just love that it's modular, that it grows with your family. I like the fact that the seats turn into bassinets, so there's no need to buy separate. You could even get car seat adapters to turn into a travel system. Car seat would go up top, toddler seat at the bottom. You could even do a car seat and a bassinade. I'm telling you, they've really thought about it when they designed the stroller. The handlebar that comes way out, the promenade, I think it is a really, really great option, especially for someone looking for a single that's going to transform into a double, or maybe you have twins. So there is my look at the Phil and Ted's Promenade, and I'm Holly Schultz from BabyGizmo.com.